depending on where you're at on our Earth, in regards to the equator, in regards to the sun and where we are when we're um, rotating around the sun, also has something to do with our weather. Right now, we're moving into summer because we're closest to the sun. But however, the other side of the Earth, are they having summer? They're having winter, yeah, because they're furthest away from the sun. Avery. Uh, I remember one time I was sitting and eating. If this is a story, we'll share later, okay? Well, actually, it's like from the book. It said for like what we eat and what we do. Well, when, just like what you eat, you're not going to eat chili on the hottest day of the year, and you're not going to eat ice cream on the coldest. Very good, yeah, depending on what we eat. I know all winter I like to eat soups and chilies and comfort food, and in the summer I like watermelon and fresh fruits and stuff to cool me down. So let's keep going on to page four. I'd like to read for us. Abby? <coughs> <clears throat> Every, day, <clears throat> Every day we look at the weather forecast or predictions about what kind of weather to expect. Weather forecasts affect the jobs of many people, from airplane pilots to truck drivers <clears throat> to fishermen. Even families rely on the weather forecast. Suppose it had been raining for several days where the Garcia family lives. How is the rain affecting their lives? Josh... Garcia's baseball team games had been rained out for three times in row in a row. Miss Garcia has wanted to plant her outdoor vegetable garden, but the soggy ground won't let her. After visiting the online weather source, the Garcias found the 10-day forecast shown below. Now they'll know which day should be the best weather for playing baseball and planting a garden. Good job. So we can see how weather also affects people's occupation and their jobs. What if you were um, a landscaper or um, a took care of grass cutting? Would, would that be easy to do when it's snowing out? Would you make a lot of money and work a lot when it's snowing? Mm -hmm. No, but in comparison, a lot of those people that are cutting grass and have the landscaping business also have a snow removal business so that they're hitting all parts of the weather depending on it. Can you think of any other jobs that depend on the weather? We said airline pilots, truck drivers, fishermen, Disney. Um, okay, so taking care of the streets in the winter. Avery? Um, roofing houses. Roofing houses. It won't be very good to do in a blizzard or in a rain, big thunderstorm, would that? Not very safe either. Any other jobs you can think of? Over on this side of the room. What other jobs can we think of that are affected by the weather? John? Maybe a football player. Football player? Yeah. An athlete. They, they aren't able to play, especially in our region, in the wintertime. Maybe uh, that's why a lot of baseball teams or football teams have their camps and practices in warmer states, warmer weather. Cool. Um, contractors outside the contractors. Contractors, builders. Yeah, it's difficult to dig and... Um, Make put foundations in in the winter because of the ground so frozen. Avery. Um, if you're like an ice cream vendor or something, Very that's good. usually more of a summertime job. But right. What about for golfing? Oh, golfing. If you have a a uh, like Lakeview, I'm not sure if there's any golf courses in Fairmont, but you can't really golf in the winter. This weekend, I saw a lot of golfers out though. Okay, good job. Let's go on and keep reading Dejeuner. Weather forecasts are important, but how are they made? Weather tools are used to gather information about weather conditions, such as wind, pressure, temperature, humidity, and precipitation. The data collected by the weather tools are can be Devin. Uh, first of all. Okay. Yep, very good. 
First of all, without the sun, we would not have weather. Second, the air surrounding Earth is made of, of different gases. Third, the heat generated by the sun warms the air and sets it in motion. Whether it is sinking, rising, or shifting sideways, the air is always moving. How does the movement affect us? It creates pressure systems and changes in air pressure. Are especially important to the weather forecast. When the pressure falls, the indicates a storm is on the way. But when the pressure rises, the signal that fair weather will continue to arrive soon. Combining the knowledge of the data from weather tools leads to accurate weather forecast. Good job. So we said how the sun and the wind and the rotation of the earth all affects our weather and what weather we're getting compared to the weather across the United States or in China or Russia or Australia. So it's all depending on the earth and its movement around the sun. So we're going to be working on this for a few days. First, what we are going to be doing next, you can close up your books and pass them to the front. We'll be looking at those more tomorrow. We are going to be making our own weather predictions. However, unlike the meteorologist that we saw earlier, we're not going to have the fancy tools that he has to use, the Doppler radar, um, different tools like that computer programs. We're going to go back to the basics. We're going to, what do you think we're going to use? Looking outside. Looking outside? What, what, what are we going to use when we're looking outside? We're just going to look and say, okay. Our eyes. Our eyes. Our eyes. And what outside will we use? What different things? Like the, like noises of thermometers. Noises birds. of the birds. Thermometer. Clouds. Clouds. How about, sun. what else? Sun. The sun? Maybe, what about Rain. the flag? What would we, why would we look at the flag? The wind. The wind. The wind. The wind. Yeah, the trees blowing, see if it's windy. If it's chilly outside. Chilly, yeah, the temperature. We're going to have a thermometer out there, but you can also feel, use your senses. We're going to be using our senses. And, Ms. Ray, hold on one second. We're going to be using this weather prediction chart that I've made for you guys. Okay. So first we'll be going out today and you're going to take your weather observation. You're going to write down, you know, is there a lot of sun? Is it partly sunny, partly cloudy? All cloudy. Is there precipitation? Is there precipitation rain, snow, sleet, ice, wind? Is it windy? Is it just a light breeze? Or is your hair blowing all over the place? The trees are blowing, you can hear it. That's when you know the wind is really strong, when you can actually hear the wind. I know when it's really windy, my hair, since it's so long, it's just everywhere. Make sure you put your name at the top because we're going to be using these throughout the week. Now before we go outside, I want to talk about some, just some rules before we go outside that we need to remember because if you guys aren't able to follow these rules, we'll just stay inside and look out the window, okay? So when we're outside, we're all going to stay together as a class. We're not going to run around the whole campus and we're not going to be screaming or yelling to each other because there are other classes going on with their windows open just like us. So we need to respect them and we need to and we need to also take something to write on, like a folder that you can put the paper on to write on. Any other things that we think we need to remember while we're out making weather predictions and predicting the weather? And we said you know, no running around, stay together as a class, no loud shouting, they should know. 
write on. 